Hey, 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 everyone. It is Evil Cupcake Gaming coming at you hot, fresh out of the oven again with some medieval gameplay. We're going to pick right back up where we left off last time with the pumpkin serpent. The root of all pumpkin evil. Squash that squash and rid Galamir of this CD menace once and for all. I like how they really try to like up the ante with that little description there. All right. The King Pumpkin sleeps. If you want an audience with this regal plant, you should mash all of his pod sacks. I assume it's that little piece here. Yeah. All right. Oh my. It is rumored that the pumpkin witch is in possession of a much sought after dragon gem. If you have a witch talisman, you could summon this kindly witch. Am I doing that here? No. Okay. Elsewhere. Got it. Money, money. I like money. Ooh, more money. Not a whole lot of money, but still counts money. Is that... Yep. People trying to eat me. Or at least kill me. All skill. All thrill. Uh, Another silver shoe. Say I knew there was more. <laughs> Didn't realize there were that many though. Whoa, seriously? What is the range on that thing? That is outrageous that it hit me from way over there. That's such a long range. Come on, you. Come at me. I'm gonna come back for that one. Yes, but where is... Ah! Can I not... Hmm. Greetings, kind sir. Oh my. I am the pumpkin witch. I'm like a mother to those pumpkins. I give them all the love and care a young fruit could ever ask for. From the moment they first push a shoot above the soil, right up until their heads are cut off and eaten. And look, see how they repay me, running around and causing mischief. That nasty old big pumpkin has a bad influence on the young seedlings. If you teach him a lesson in manners, I might give you a nice present. Okay, so do the thing that you're gonna do, and then she'll give it to me. Awesome. Uh, gonna try. No? 
Well, let me. Okay. Hmm. Not entirely sure how to get to the chops then. There's any fire anywhere I could try and use that. I'm sure that's probably where I come out from the well. got. Ooh. Oh my. Oh. Close range. Not not working out for me. Uh, turn the camera. to destroy them all like in time or something okay so it just kind of affects how many times I gotta do this I guess Not over here. Okay. So one was over here. Oh. There's one over here. And I think the other one is the one that's at the beginning of the level. It's kind of cool that they kind of incorporated the whole level into it. Like made it smaller, obviously, but then incorporated it more into it. little fight there the definitely not quite as bad yeah there we go not quite as bad as the ant queen and the ant hill in general much much better we get a nice little silver trophy for it
A most edifying spectacle, sir. Man and vegetable in a magnificent duel to the death. Oh, I've come over all of a doodah. Here, have this lovely dragon gem as your reward. Oh, lovely majestic creatures dragons are. Okay. Dragon gem. Awesome. Don't know what it is, but cool. I'm gonna hold off on enchanting because I don't really feel like. Well, that's that's not entirely true. I know that we get like extra damage from it and it's nice and all, but I feel like I did just fine there without it. I right, got the chalice. I think that's all that there is here. All right. I should get to the uh, second floor of the Hall of Heroes now. Right? Yeah, I do. Look at those solid stairs. Solid. Damn, oh, yeah. Damn, damn. Neck for days. <laughs> Don't be shy. I've seen you giving me the eye. You may be weak and feeble like old men, but I like you, Daniel. <laughs> now listen up. Your bow and arrows are fine for itty bitty jobs, but if you want to pack some serious heat, you should take this spear. <laughs> Is it also... I think it's also a ranged weapon, because it's got a number on it. Yeah. Ranged. Spear today, gone tomorrow. shield, bow and arrow, an axe, cool, and an even better sword by the looks of it. ended up being a dead end there. Oh, that is not where I wanted to go. Uh, do I go for the enchanted earth? Mm. Let's see what's over here. The sleeping village. I feel like I might have some luck here, maybe. Uh, what would I do with the dragon gem, though? I honestly have no idea what to do with that. So it's, I, I can understand it's a key item, but I don't know where to go with it, necessarily. We'll just go for the village here. town was once so lively. What was the opposite of lively? Deadly? Yeah! That's what this town is now. Yeah, that's it. That sounds right anyway. Do 
dude's having all sorts of tantrums here. Let's say 61%. For the chalice? The master possesses them. It mustn't hurt them. Hurt guards, though. They seek out an object of great power. Okay. Going in. Blacksmith's Monthly. Old man Willie Green of Gallows Town was awarded Smithy of the Season by our readers. His outstanding casts have produced many intricate and hard-wearing iron goods and sculptures. Willie only uses the finest of metals in his work and is particularly noted for his magnificent busts. <laughs> Old man Willie was quoted as saying, I, when I get pumping on me bellows, there's no stopping me. It's all in the rhythm. Up and down, up and down. I've always been inspired by the stories of Stanya Iron Hewer, <laughs> the greatest smithy there ever was. More shield. All right. Am I doing anything significant here? I don't believe I am. Ah, there's another barrel in there that I left. It's in here. A crucifix once stood here, but the mayor took it. Find a replacement and see how the church should really look. Okay, got a little objective. Side objective to go for here. Actually, you know what? Nah, I, I do want to keep the copper shield because I keep running into silver shields. I also use the other resources that I have. There are so many little girls running around. What do we got here? around here. No. Let's come back for that. Whoop. Ugh. Fiendish. Fiendish little girl. Oh crap. No, we're good. Oh. That is a moon room if I've ever seen one. Ha! Oh, did she get me with that? I think she did. Excuse me, pardon me. of Mr. Shanks, landlord of the Troll's Head. To clean the statue, lower the pedestal. And how does one do that? Oh, man. Sure why I should be collecting this, but I have. But I mean, I am the hero of the story, so 
It's just accepted that I'm just going to start taking a lot of things. Place apart. If we don't find the shadow artifact, Lord Zarak will have us mocking out the demons for the next millennium. Oh man. I find this chalice down that way. Okay. Okay. What does it say here? Having some trouble the reading this one. The key is held aloft by the flow of water from the fountain. You may have to wait for the next drought. certain that you do get an award for not having villagers. But since I just <laughs> I'm myself for that one. don't harm the villagers whenever we come through here. I'll have to come back for that one. I wonder... It kind of seems like I can go down there. But again, I don't think I really gain anything from that. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Forgot to check around these docks here. Guide to Galamir, Part One. 
The land of Galamir is a wondrous land of breathtaking sights and adventure. If it's beauty you are looking for, be sure to check out the sights of the enchanted forest. Scale the heights and see the nests of giant dragon birds. Seek out weird and wonderful plant life. Go ooh and ah at the sight of baby dragon toads splashing about in the crystal clear ponds. Why not take a walk through the Pumpkin Valley? Pumpkin is Galomir's favorite dish, and about now the valley is just bulging under the weight of young podlings awaiting harvest. Heroes from History, a retrospective. Oh my. Chapter one. In addition to being the strongest man who Maybe another time. Can I oh. Tourist Guide to Galamir, part no, two. Oh no no. History of Galamir. History History of Ga History. How does one get back there? Interesting, you can bash him. I did not realize that. And I should have just bash that in the first place. May concern, I must make haste, for Xerox men will be here within the hour. I have taken the crucifix from the church. It is the key to a key. I used the cross to make the attached cast. Then I had it destroyed. It is my hope that this cast falls into the hands of a just and good hero. Signed, the town mayor. Okay. So we grab this. And then we head back to the blacksmith. Which is this one. There we go. Having trouble reading again. There we go. Dear sir, madam. On my travels across Galamir, I have come across many mysterious and enchanting finds. However, that which filled me with deepest dread was discovery of the tomb of the shadow demons. The key to their dank prison, the mysterious shadow artifact, is now in my possession. Yours fearfully, the town mayor. Is that what I just picked up? Safe key. So, not quite the key yet, but I bet if I go around this way... That'll lead me to this part. The gate was closed. Can I unlock the gate from this side? Now. Go 
on up. Hey, found the chalice. Capture that greedy profiteer, the town mayor. Take him to the asylum dungeons. Give the fat boy a good going over. Locate the shadow artifact. Bring me back something nice. Kind of a tall, tall list, tall order. Or just minions. Okay, so this is my second time. I assume I'm going back to Spear Lady and probably just getting more gold. Which again, not really my favorite. But you know, whatever. Money is money, and I like money. Oh no. My, uh, oh. Look Talking to somebody else. In your bones, Fortescue. You're so never dead. <laughs> I, Ravenhoofs, last prince of the centaurs, have not galloped the earth in over 10,000 years. Do Damn. yourself a favor, Fortescue. Take my longbow. More powerful than a crossbow. The option of flaming arrows? It is truly the weapon of noblemen. <laughs> Congratulations! You don't quite have my breeding, Mr. Johnny come lately. But there's hope for you yet. Alright. Can I just... Yeah. And then it looks like I can... Charge it. Ooh. There's a lot to it. I'll keep it in mind for now. That'll do it for now. Appreciate everybody stopping by. This has been Evil Cupcake Gaming. You can find me on Twitch and YouTube under Evil Cupcake Gaming, and now also on Twitch at Evil Cupcake G. Next time, I think we'll continue along and we will check out the Asylum Grounds. Alrighty. Thanks again, everyone, for stopping by, and I hope you have a wonderful day.